All right guys, so you know with iPhone 16, the biggest new thing that they added is that camera control button. And a lot of cases, they don't really have that button covered. They have a cutout, whether it's a nice refined cutout or just a really big chunk taken out of the case. Well, today we're looking at the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Mag Slim for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and they actually have the camera control button covered. Now this one is almost perfect. The sensitivity just could be a little bit better and then it would be absolutely perfect. But let's go ahead and take a look. Now the price on this one is $21.99. Links are down in the description below for you guys to check out. And a huge shout out to Subcase for sending this out to me to review for you guys. So taking a look at the packaging, it does say Unicorn Beetle right there, Subcase here, and drop protection with military standard testing. Now on the back, you pretty much just get a little bit of information here. It says perfect gripping, scratch resistant, shock resistant, dual layer design, and accurate cutout. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now I have been using this case for the last couple of days and I've really been testing out that camera control button because as I told you guys, we're gonna be super critical with this camera control button, whether it's a cutout, a big one, or a small one that's refined, or even an actual button like the subcase has, we're gonna be really critical of it. So let's take a look. Now here you get an extended warranty card. You can just get your extended warranty by scanning that QR code right there. Nice to see. And you are gonna get a little thing that says capture button compatible. Now it basically says that you don't wanna use it with your hands being wet cause it's not gonna work as well, but you get a little information there. Pause it and read it for yourself if you'd like. So taking a look at the case itself, Starting off with the back, you are going to get that clear plastic material right here with your MagSafe ring and alignment magnet there. A little bit of subcase branding down here. And of course, you're gonna get your camera bump right there. Now going along to the inside, you're gonna get that MagSafe ring right there. Again, with the alignment magnet, UB series, military standard drop tested. So going around the inside, you are gonna get some TPU material and it is gonna go all the way around here with some shock absorbing corners if you guys see those right there, you are gonna get those on all four corners. So you are gonna get that nice drop protection on this case. So let's go ahead and bring over our scale, our caliper, we'll weigh it, see how thick it is, and then we'll slap it on our phone. So starting off with our scale, we are looking at, let's see here, 48 grams. So really it's not the heaviest case in the world. However, I did wanna mention, you can kind of feel the weight of this one on your hand. Now, if you're someone like me and you hold your phone just like this, for some reason you do feel the weight of this one. I think it may be because the cutout down here is just a hair sharp, not the worst thing in the world. I've had cases way sharper, but it is something I do have to mention for you guys. And then moving along to our caliper, let's go ahead and bring this here and we'll go from front to back. So we are looking at 12.2 millimeters front to back and then inside to outside, we're looking at three millimeters even. So not the thickest case in the world. It is pretty comfortable to hold, but either way, let's go ahead and put our phone in here. Now, if you guys can see, there is some fingerprinting on here. It is a clear case. You are gonna get those fingerprints. So before we put our phone in, we're just gonna wipe it down real good, just so it looks nice. We'll go ahead and wipe the back, wipe the front, vice versa. This is the back, that was the front. You know what I mean. So. Let's go ahead and put that natty in there. This is the Natural Titanium 16 Pro Max. I'm loving it, loving this color. So let's go ahead and listen out for that click. Very nice solid click on here. Super tight fit, so you definitely don't have to worry about this coming off. And speaking of that fit, you are going to get pretty good fit around the sides. Now I would like to see it a little bit tighter, but you do have to give it a decent amount of force in order for it to move. So if you guys see, my fingers are definitely giving it a little bit of force. Around the button's going to be a hair weaker, but almost not noticeable. Now your bottom, decent, top is decent. I would like to see them a little bit more stiff, but when you go to the fit on these corners, one, two, three, four, very nice snap onto all of those corners. It has a good fit on here. So if you drop this, you absolutely do not have to worry about your phone coming out of the case. So let's look around the sides. Now, starting off with the top, you are going to get a completely closed in top. And if you guys see all of the sides do have a little bit of an indent because your corners are going to be raised up a little bit for that extra drop protection. So top is closed in, 
Going on to the left hand side, you do have your action button, volume up and down, and the rest of your side is closed in as well as a lanyard loop right there. Now this does not come with a lanyard, so that is something to note, but just wanna let you guys know that. Now I do really like how the action button here is textured, so you know what you're reaching for if it's in your pocket or your purse or your sling bag. If you just reach in there, you can kind of feel that that's the action button as opposed to volume up and down. But let's go ahead and listen to how those sound. Very nice, super clicky buttons. They are plastic, but they are standalone buttons, so you absolutely have a very nice click on all of those. Now moving along to the bottom, you are going to get equal cutouts on this one. So it's not accurate, they're the same exact size cutouts and a pretty decent size USB Type-C port, which let's go ahead and bring over our cable, check that out real quick, plug that in. We are charging and yeah, very nice wide open USB Type-C port so you don't have to worry about any of your cables fitting in there, they all will fit just fine. But like I said, it is a little bit sharp right there where you hold it if you're someone like me and hold it like this it may weigh down on your finger after a little while. You do kind of feel the weight on this. And moving along to the right-hand side, you are completely closed in. You do have that camera control button, which we're about to test, and your power button is closed in right there as well. Now, this button does feel a little bit different than the rest because you're gonna get that like touch sensitive type of material here that will allow for that. So let's go ahead and click that button. And let's see, we'll click it one more time, there we go. Now this button is almost perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just press that a little bit and there we go. We can move things around and see what's going on here. And when you zoom, it's just, it's just a little bit not sensitive enough. What I would like to see is just the sensitivity literally like you just, a li just that much, a little bit cranked up because it's just not as sensitive as what it would be with the button itself on the phone or something like the Apple silicone case. So let's actually go ahead and we'll take this off of here and we'll test that out with the action, I keep calling it the action button. We're gonna test that out with the camera control button just with the iPhone itself. And if you guys see what I mean right there, it's just way more smooth. It's not even way more, I mean it's, it's just a little bit more sensitive than what it is on the Unicorn Beetle. And same thing with the Apple silicone case, for example. It was the right amount of sensitivity, but of course it's because Apple makes their phone, Apple makes the case. Either way, this thing is very close to being perfect, but it's just, it needs that little, little tiny bit of extra sensitivity. So that is definitely something to note, but if you're someone who's looking for that really good protection, don't let that fool you. This is still a very good button. It still works very well. It's just not where it needs to be for it to be perfect, but it's right there. It's literally right there. Anyways, how does this thing feel in the hand? And it's very comfortable. Besides for the fact that the bottom is a tiny bit sharp, otherwise very comfortable to hold. I would say there's really no extra added grip on here, but I haven't had any issues of this slipping out of my hands. The back is not a plastic type of material that's super slippery. Once you get a little bit of that finger oil on there or whatever else you guys have on your hands, I don't know, but once you get a little bit of that on there, you will be good to go and it's really not slippery at all. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that camera and screen protection, but first we gotta wipe this down because it's looking a little ugly. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I am using a full coverage tempered glass screen protector and yeah, you're looking good right there. You are getting a pretty decent screen lip. So feel free to set this on most surfaces and you'll be good to go. And looking at that camera, you are going to get a nice proper camera bump right there. So again, set that down on pretty much whatever surface you'd like and it won't mess up your camera at all. On the back, you are going to get these edges are a little bit raised, so that will help from getting the clear part all scratched up as well as help with your camera. And let's see, with those raised edges, yeah, it's still gonna rock a little bit, but it is what it is. Not as bad as when the phone is naked, so it does mitigate it a tiny, tiny bit. And of course, that does add your extra drop protection on there, so that's really nice. Now. Moving along to our MagSafe test, let's go ahead and bring over our Apple MagSafe wallet. Attach that, that was a really, really good connection. There's our animation, I don't know why we didn't get the sound. This thing is absolutely leather and fine woven wallet approved. I mean, I can't even move it. You really, I mean, you gotta like pull this thing off. 
The magnets on this case are insane. Oh, hold on, that, that was weak. One more time, just for good measure. Eh, it's not the loudest click onto there, but you will be good to go no matter what. And you guys see, I mean, it takes a little bit to pull that off. Now with the Apple MagSafe battery pack, there we go, good click on there. And here we go, are we in vibrate? No, we're on ring. I don't know why we're not getting the sound. My iPhone's going stupid, but either way, let's go ahead and you sit here, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah, this thing is not coming off. It's, it's very, very well on here. And I'm having trouble just pulling that off. I mean, if you just see that right there, I mean, you really gotta, you really gotta struggle to get this thing off. So if you have some really crazy strength MagSafe accessories, once you stick them on here, good luck. <laughs> but either way, moving along to our Anchor 623. Of course, I know already this thing is gonna pick it up with zero issues. And I mean, you gotta, let's see, you gotta really shake your wrist for that thing to come off. I'm just sit here, go up and down, up and down, finally shake it off and you will be good to go right there. So moving along to the 360 degree rotation test, go ahead and sit here, type a text, email, scroll through Twitter or Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, which by the way, make sure you guys follow me on the platforms. They are down, linked down below. But yeah, type of text, you are fine. No issues right there. Switch it over to landscape mode, get on YouTube, watch your favorite Brian's tech video. You can rewind, fast forward, play, pause. And I mean, just you, <laughs> the MagSafe on this is excellent. I'm loving it. I've been using it with the car mount, with my MagSafe chargers for just battery packs and my uh, desktop charger. I've had zero issues with that. So it's really, really been good. And I've been enjoying using this case. Everything has been just fine. The action button, how many times am I gonna call this the action button? That's the action button. The camera control button is just fine. I mean, you really shouldn't have too many issues with that at all. When you are using it, you will be fine. Be good to go. You can sit here, click it, switch your different modes, double click it, go there, whatever you wanna do. It's just, that little bit of sensitivity is missing that I would really love to see. So Subcase, if you guys are listening, increase that sensitivity a little bit. That button will be perfect. Now, colors. This thing comes in a ton of colors. You have this gray. It comes in black, blue, clear, glitter pink, jasper, purple, and glitter black. So you have a bunch of colors to choose from. They have a color for everybody that you want and you're gonna get that 15 feet of drop protection. So if you're sitting here and you just drop this out of your pocket when you get out of the car, or if you stand up, you know, if you're on your floor, you pick it up off of your dresser and it just tumbles off, whatever, you don't have to worry about it because you are gonna get some great drop protection with this. Subcase really knocked it out of the park with the Unicorn Beetle Mag, and I've really been enjoying using this. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Have you ever tried a Subcase? Have you ever used the Unicorn Beetle Mag? Have you gotten this one for the 16 Pro Max? Let me know down below. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see my unboxing of all four iPhone 16 Pro Max colors, yes, I unboxed them all. That video is right there. If you wanna see my favorite screen protector for the 16 Pro Max, that's right there.